In this video, I'm going to show you probably the number one defense that you should be using right now to get more stops against the meta offenses in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you, like I said, to get uh, access to all of the tips that we release every single day. I release several videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that in this video, we're going to be talking about the 335 and the 335 wide defense. And if you want to learn my entire uh, 335 wide 46 defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. You can get that by clicking that link. It's got everything in it, all the setups, all the video explanation, tutorials. But for this video, we're just going to focus in on one specific coverage out of the nickel 335 wide that I think that is very underutilized in terms of how it works against the gun bunch meta. Now, the coverage that we're gonna be focusing in on for today is the Cover 4 Show 2. Now, the Cover 4 Show 2 is not a cover four drop defense. For example, I've got the cover four drop here in the 335, but if I go to the 335 wide, I've got this cover four show two. What the cover four show two really is, is it is very similar to this cover four quarters out of the nickel normal. Now the cover four quarters out of the nickel normal is a pattern match, man matching defense that you could utilize to uh, basically play match coverage, okay? And that's how we're gonna utilize this out of the 335 wide. So you don't need any zone drops for this. You really don't need any adjustments whatsoever i just personally prefer to come out in the nickel 335 formation because when you audible from 335 to 335 wide you're going to be able to put safeties at your linebacker position you're also going to be able to cross man linebackers on multiple sides of the field so uh, we're going to show you how i like to set this up against the gun bunch i'm just going to move the ball so that we have our bunch to the wide side of the field and we're going to show you my favorite defense for gun bunch out of this out of this formation so we're going to audible down into the cover four show too. I like to simply press the coverage pretty much every single time, as you can see right here. Um, if you want to, you can manually back off the coverage on the left side so that you don't get bombed. But I find that it's, it's honestly not bad to press the coverage. Okay. From that point, what we want to do is we want to simply uh, shift our defensive line to the right and crash our defensive line out. Now, the reason we want to do that is because we're going to be able to shoot the run right down the middle if they run with our user right in here, and we want to basically blitz our user defender. So as you can see right here, I've blitzed my user, and I've got a three down lineman rush. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to bluff blitz our defensive end on the bunch side. That's going to put him in a three rec hook so that we've replaced the zone that we've basically, that we, we, we replaced the zone that we essentially changed. And then the last adjustment that we're going to make is we are going to take the linebacker that is on the right side of the screen that is blitzing currently, and we're going to man him up onto the tight end. So as you can see here, we're going to use a three down lineman rush. And really what we can do with this left side slot cornerback, uh, or I'm sorry, left side uh, nickel corner, or I'm sorry, left side safety, is you can really do whatever you want. You can put him in an inside quarter if you would like. You could put him into an inside third to help against deep posts and things like that, seam streaks and all that. Um, if you want to put him in a hook curl, you certainly can do that. I actually really do like to put him in a hook curl uh, from time to time to help just kind of defend different types of concepts that people are going to utilize. You could just leave him in the quarter zone as well. It's really up to you. Uh, but it, it allows you to have an additional player that you can do anything with. You can cross man that safety on any player in the formation. Uh, for example, you know, I could cross man him onto the uh, right of screen slot receiver, which is one of the most popular receivers that people like to go to consistently in the gun bunch. It's going to help you stop things like crossers, things like that. So, you know, again, you can kind of do whatever you want with that guy. I typically just leave him where he's at. It's fine. And again, you can man him up accordingly if you like. So I'm going to show one of the number one plays in the game, and that is the verticals concept. And what we want to do with our user here is if we see a deep crosser from the bunch side to the left side, we're just going to cover that with our user. So as you can see right here, we're just going to back up, and we're going to go cover that crosser. And as you can see, everything else is pretty much bagged. Now, the reason why I like this defense so much is because we get a significant advantage in terms of numbers to the bunch side. What I mean by that is the we're going to have probably five uh, to seven people that are going to be able to help us out consistently consistently to the right side of the screen. You've got the defensive end, you've got the linebacker that's manned up on the tight end, and then you've got uh, your user 
and you've got three other players in coverage. So you know, I think that's like five or six players that we have in help to that side. So let's say you see, for example, a flooding concept. If you see a flooding concept, now you can be able to work backside here. And as you can see, the two-man rush really is not that bad. You're going to pretty much cover almost everything that people can do uh, from the gun bunch. As you saw right there, the most popular concept, the flooding uh, concept, was taken away. Now I want to show you another play that I really like, and that is this right here. So I'm going to audible down in that cover force to two once, one, one more time. And what you're going to see, again, it's a real simple setup. And as you can see right here, now we're able to kind of work into this area. And as you can see, the clear out play that is so popular is really taken away pretty much verbatim. So I love this defense. I think that this defense can really help you in defending the gun bunch. Um, there's really not a whole lot of concepts from bunch that they're going to be able to throw. Um, the tight end flat is manned up and you've got a quarter flat outside leveraged on that. And then the other thing is like, let's say they run this flood play. You're going to notice that this absolutely bags the flood plays. So let me back up and just show you an instant replay. This is what makes this 335 wide, I think, special. With the ability that you have to cross man and to do things like this, what you're going to see here is that you get a jam on that flood out route and then because the tight end is manned up that quarter flat is going to guard the out route everything else is completely bagged across the middle of the field so to me this is a phenomenal phenomenal defense that you can utilize um you know if you really wanted to get a little bit more of an advantage against uh, the gun bunch what you can do is you could use her this safety right here uh, and kind of bring him down and still do everything else basically the same the only difference would be i would take that middle linebacker and either man him up on the running back or put him into a mid read zone um, because you have all of the things that you need to the bunch side and then you have this kind of mid read in the middle of the field that will significantly help you if you're dealing with any kind of crossers anything like that but as you can see the flooding concept that i think most people like to use to beat match just simply doesn't beat this cover four show two with the adjustments that i just share with you so i want to thank you for watching this video if this sparks your interest and you want to get uh if you want to really take your madden game seriously i would really encourage you to go ahead and sign up for my patreon membership i'm going to put a link to that down in the description below my patreon membership by joining that you're going to get immediate access to every single ebook that i've released so far in the season you'll get access to every single ebook that i've released offensive or defensive while your subscription is active and the other cool part about that is occasionally i'll drop exclusive tips uh, pro player breakdowns answer your questions a lot of really good stuff over there and the cool part is you get all of that we've got 13 ebooks so you're gonna get instant access to 13 ebooks in addition to any other ebook any updates that we do uh for just 10 bucks for just 10 bucks a month you get access to all of that content i've gotten a lot of comments on a lot of people have said that this is probably the best ten dollars that they spend all month at getting better at the game so if you really want to get better and you really want to get serious about madden 22 and become a better madden player i would really encourage you to join the patreon uh, Again, it's just 10 bucks a month, and I'm going to put a link to that in the description below where you can sign up. So just head on down to the description, click that link if you want to sign up for the Patreon. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope this helps you defend the Gun Bunch meta.